Hey guys, today we're going to replace the old battery box on the front of our trailer with a new toolbox and we're going to use that for a toolbox and a battery box and uh, we're going to go from this setup to a box like this. Stay tuned. Uh, we have decided to go to a lockable battery box and um, they do make battery boxes that are just for that but I wanted something that I could use for a little bit of storage also for a few tools so I seen a couple of videos uh, where people had bought boxes from Harbor Freight and that's what I ended up doing and so we're gonna take stuff off of the tongue of the trailer and then we're gonna see what we can do about getting this box installed uh, the box that I got is actually a trailer tongue box. It's the 2.31 cubic foot storage box. Things I'll need to do is remove the battery box and take off the propane cylinders. I'll probably have to relocate the propane cylinders a little bit forward for the box. And I'll have to install some cross bracing. So I'm going to get that stuff all taken out of there, and then we will go from there. Okay, I got all the stuff removed off the tongue, and uh, the old battery box sat down in the in these braces down at the on the bottom of the trailer tongue. Uh, the new toolbox will need to set up on top of the tongue, so I am going to have to put some cross bracing in for that, and the stuff I'm going to use is this uh, one inch aluminum square tube. I think that'll work out really well. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it finished here. Here's how the square tube bracing came out for the toolbox. I've painted it black and then I bought some plugs, which I'll show you. Here are the plugs I'm using on the ends of the square tubing. They're one inch square tube chair legs and they fit in this tubing perfectly. I've installed a couple of them, and that's that's what they look like when you put them on. Makes for a nice finished look. After doing some measurements with the box on there and the propane tanks and everything on there, uh, I did have to move the base. So I had to move it forward. I'm saying approximately two inches, and that's what I'm doing right now. And there's a few things I want to do to the box before I put it on. Um, actually, three things. One of them is to put some ventilation into the box. So I'm going to put a couple of these, one on each end of the box. And then this wooden piece here, I'm going to put in the bottom of the box just for some extra support. And then the only other thing I'll have to do is drill in a hole for the electrical. I'm going to do that now and uh, we'll show you the results. Okay, there's the hole and I'll show you that's this here is going to fit in there Oops, upside down like so and I'll install that and it'll should look pretty good. I wanted to show you a few things I did to the box before I mounted onto the trailer. I added some vents, one to each side, just if the battery has some fumes come off of it so it'll vent out of the box. I put an electrical conduit fitting in the box where the electrical will come through for the batteries. A piece of three quarter inch OSB in the bottom just to make it a little solider on the bottom. So we're gonna install this thing and I'll show you what it looks like after I get it installed. Okay, now I'm gonna put the propane tanks on there and we're gonna go ahead and test fit this thing and see if the cover goes on and the box will open and all that good stuff. I hope it does. I hope my measurements were right, but sometimes when I do things, I gotta do them two or three times to make them right. So hopefully this time I did it right. Okay, I got the box installed and I don't think I showed you the conduit, but I basically just ran this conduit, I don't know if you can see it very well right here, 
down and uh, the wires run up through it. I think I'm gonna pan to it, strap that back here to make it a little tighter. And I've got the box installed. Let me give you a shot of that. There. If you open it up. And there's the a wooden base and battery. And then I've got plenty of room to put at least another battery in there. You can look and I can use it for a little bit of storage. Here's a video of the finished product. And it fits in there really nice. So if anybody is looking for a way to have a lockable box for their batteries, and a box you can put two batteries in, or have one battery and just want to have storage on the other side, I would recommend this. It's a toolbox from Harbor Freight. It's made for trailers. Uh, I had to do a few modifications, but I think it came out pretty nice. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos, and remember, have fun camping. Talk to you later. Bye.